So on Instagram, okay, I'm gonna put this on this side. Uh, let's check this out. Okay, is that a good angle? Yep, yeah, I'm gonna get this going. Javier, how you doing, buddy? Oh, we got a lot of people on Instagram joining already. Rafael, official shop style, Ken Cerna we have here with us tonight, the Rudy Vasquez, Anthony Griffith, Garcia Maria, so what a topic, huh? Showing off. I had a person ask me this question earlier and I said, you know what? Why don't we just make it a topic for tonight? Instagram is on fire right now. Steven Davis with us. David uh, Mariscos, Rick Figueroa, Piedad, George Tatiana. How's everybody doing? By the way, post where you're from so I kind of have an idea what people are from. I hope you had a good Sunday tonight. I'm excited. I'm, you know, Last week was a different kind of a Sunday. Today I'm feeling very good. And uh, this will be three weeks in a row. We're doing Sunday night at 9 a.m., 9 p.m. So this is like, this is becoming a trend already, three weeks in a row. Tag your friends, share the post on your platform, uh, invite other people who like to watch these lives, and we'll get right into it. Also have your questions prepared as we go through this. By the way, this was prompted by an event I was at last week. I was invited to host the annual conference, the Ayn Rand Institute, Conference last week in uh, Newport Beach, they invited me to interview the chairman, um, uh, uh, who's uh, uh, very, very interesting, chairman of the board, chairman of uh, Ayn Rand Institute, um, Yaron Brook, we had a great time, the interview was very heated, it was strong, I made some strong comments to them, uh, the event, it was myself, Jordan Peterson, Dave Rubin, uh, and a few other people who were there. We had a great time. All I can tell you was a good time. Uh, let me see where this session is that they had me here with all these speakers. We had a phenomenal time. The session was good. It was, uh, and then the conversation came up. Hey, is showing off good or showing off bad? Yes, Ayn Rand. If you haven't read this book, you got to read this book. But you will see how my debate was. It was very heated. Um, very, very heated. And uh, I was expecting protesting outside. There were 600 people in the room. Me, I was the only person that was pushing the button. Uh, in that room, and I like situations like that because it's kind of like you against the world. But uh, here's what came up. Hey, it's showing off good. And that wasn't in the stage. The conversation came up later on. It's showing off good. It's a good to show off. It's a bad to show off. And so, you know, I, I've had this question asked several times and people say, you know what? I'm going to start showing off. And they go, this person shows off and it works for them. So I'm going to do it. And so I, should I show off? Should I not show off? And no, you know, showing off is bad. It's immoral. It's not Christian. It's not the right thing to do. You know, you should never show off. You should be this person and have a lot of, you know, virtues and, and just be to yourself and be righteous. And, and why would you show off? I never like people who showed off their nice cars and their homes and all this other stuff. They're missing something. They have a certain level of insecurity. They're hiding something. You know, people that drive yellow cars and red cars and orange cars and purple cars, you know they're making up for an insecurity in a different place in their lives. You ever heard of these things? I mean, this is the, the, the stuff that we hear about, right? When somebody says, why are you showing up? Okay, so let me give you my thoughts on this. It's going to be a little bit different than what you've typically heard. Let me take a sip, though, before I get into it. Okay, so here we go. By the way, again, share and tag other people because this will be a fun conversation for us to have. Tonight. So, first of all, let me simplify something. There's not a single person in the world that doesn't show off. Not a single person. The most noble person shows off. They're just showing off their nobility. Okay? <coughs> Mother Teresa showed off. You know what she showed off? She showed off love, love. But that was her show off. She's showing off how much she loves people. Her showing off was, I don't need a $10,000 dress. Just give me a $5 thing to put around me and I'm happy. That's showing off. But it's a different kind of a showing off. Well, Pat, no, I, I disagree with you. Let me make my point. You can disagree with me all you want. I'm just making my point. And if I don't make sense, don't listen to me. You don't have to listen to what I'm saying. I'm just giving you a different perspective. Um, the people that drive a Ford Focus who don't like others who drive Ferraris yet like to show off their six-pack, they're a show off. A, a, a girl who gets up in the morning and says, I don't like people who show off their big homes, but spends 45 minutes doing makeup, that's showing off that I look good, okay? 
When we get up in the morning and we look good and we shave and we don't leave any hair and we're just kind of like trying to take care of ourselves, our skin, you know, we're trying to show off in a different way. Hey, this is what I look like. This is my product. This is who I am. Now, maybe those are not the things because if you look at the definition of show off, it means to deliberately uh, uh, brag about what you have that may be better of somebody else. Something, you know, a lot of professors show off their knowledge. Politicians are masters of showing off their opinions, their ideas. Um, you know, wealthy people show off through their lifestyle sometimes. A pastor shows off their level of knowledge about the Bible. You know, a, a, you know an educator is going to show off their level of degrees. And, you know, you go into their office. How many offices have you gone to? And you see degrees of people. And they hate show-offs. You go to their office. The professor has... I got my uh, MBA from uh, Wharton Business School and I got my degree from Harvard and I went to USC and I went to Florida State and I went to SMU and I went to this. But let me tell you something. You know, this Trump guy, all he wants to do is show off. And I, I don't think it's healthy for society to show off. I don't think there's a single president in the world that wasn't a show off. I mean, that's the part you guys got to realize. Now, let's go a little bit more into the business side, okay? Trump has his name all over the place on brands, Okay. Uh, so did Charles Schwab, so did J.P. Morgan, so did Morgan Stanley, so did Dean Witter, so do many other brands. McLaren is someone's name. Ferrari is Enzo Ferrari's name, right? I mean, I can give you all of these names is someone's name. So can you imagine if you wanted to start a company, you said you're going to name your company after your name. What a show off. Many are such a show off, you know? How dare you come out with a book and put your cover on top of the book? You're so insecure. You're such a show off, right? Okay. So all that stuff said and done. Typically, when you work in a company, the person that comes up and moves up faster is a person that is going to bring up the fact that they are really making an effort and they're making a case that I am working hard. I'm doing my part. And this is why dot, dot, dot. Okay. I encourage my guys at the home office to always come up to me and ask me for a raise, but I tell them how to ask me for a raise, right? I mean, if you got a real reputation of coming up to me and asking for a raise based on numbers and results and all that other stuff, well, then I'll sit down and consider it. But I teach you how to ask me for a raise. I don't mind you showing off. I have one of our employees that will sit there and she'll, she'll put together a 20-page PowerPoint. You know what the first 19 pages are? How amazing she is. And by the way, I love listening to it. It doesn't bother me. I like it. It doesn't sit there and for me going, you know what, screw all this other stuff. No, it doesn't bother me. I'm fine with it. But now, let me give you a different side of show off. Let me give you a different side of show off. Showing off doesn't work when you show off in a way that doesn't fit your personality. That's when you screw up. Let me explain to you what I mean by this. If, you, if your style isn't like Trump and you try to show off like Trump, it wouldn't work. Can you imagine if Trump says, I'm going to try to show off like Mother Teresa? Do you realize how confused he would be? I mean, the guy would be so confused, it would be insane. He would be absolutely insane. <laughs> he would be absolutely insane if he showed off. Like, it, 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 I want you to think about tomorrow, Trump comes out and he says something like this. Uh, uh, good afternoon, American people. I just wanted to speak to all of you and let you know that I love you so much. And life is all about love. And I love the Democrats and Hillary. You know, all this time I've been thinking about it. I just love Hillary Clinton so much. And my favorite person uh, is CNN CEO. I just love CNN. Ted Turner and Anderson Cooper. Such a sweet guy. And we just need to love each other. And there's a meeting. And he goes around hugging every single one of the congressmen and senators that are Democrats. And Hillary Clinton's there. And he's crying. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine Trump doing that? You would be confused. The same goes... If we were to ask you to say, okay, for a Mother Teresa to get up and say, hey, I just want to let you know, call that person, kick that person out, tell them to get out, get the hell out of here. You know, who do you think you are? It wouldn't fit because it's not their personality. It's not their personality. That's when showing off doesn't work. Years ago in 2002, when I got into the financial service, I got involved in 2001 in financial services, but 2002, I got involved in a different company. Uh, 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 Transamerica had a very good experience, but I went there and there was this guy, there was this one guy who got up and he was speaking and I had no idea who this guy was. He was trying to copy another guy's style of speaking. He would walk like him. 
he was short, you know, he was trying to speak just like this other guy. He was all, the other guy was also short, but this guy would try to walk off just like him. You know, do everything like him. And I would sit there, I'm like, I was brand new, 2002, maybe I've been in the business for a couple months. I said, man, it just doesn't fit you. You look so fake. This is awkward. Like my skin hurts listening to you. I can't even sit in here for now. Has that ever happened to you? See, that's a person that's trying to show off like another person and it doesn't work. It only works if it fits your personality. So if you've ever been, listen, if this is your style and this is how you behave, if these two match, that's authenticity. But if this is your style, okay, let's just say this is your uh, style on how you are, your personality, your character, your style, your DNA, and you're trying to act like somebody else, everybody feels it and it doesn't feel authentic. So what does this mean? You got to figure out what fits you. It doesn't matter what you're doing. What fits your personality? Some people say, well, Pat, you know, how do you speak the way you do? This is how I am. Since I was a kid, I told stories. You know, this is my style. My style is I question everything. I want to know more. Today, I was walking around the mall in North Park in Dallas. A guy pulls me aside, gets emotional, crying, saying I'm a 22-year-old big guy, big brother, African-American guy, massive, beautiful physique. And he says, you know, just so you know, Valentin has changed my life. And I said, really, tell me more. He starts telling me all this story and all this other stuff. He's like, you know, you have no idea what it's done for me. And I said, tell me what he's doing. He starts telling me all the stories about what he's doing right now, et cetera. I said, starting a business. And he says, your style connects with me. Great. But I know people that say my style doesn't connect with them. That's fine. It's like music. Not everybody likes Sade. I like Sade. I can listen to Cherish the Day on repeat for six hours straight. I can do it. Not everybody likes the movie Cocktails with Tom Cruise. Some said it's Tom Cruise's worst movie of all time. I've watched it at least 200 times. When I was in the army, that was probably 199 times in the army. The other one time was after the army. But I like cocktails. Anybody here likes a movie that nobody else likes? Comment it below. I'm curious. Does anybody like a movie that when you say, I love this movie, everybody hates it? What's the movie you love that everybody hates? Post it. I'm so curious. Let's see who's going to put something here. Anybody ever watch, loves a movie that nobody else likes? I watched the movie because of you, Clever Costa. <laughs> so, and I love uh, uh, cocktails. I just do. I, I just love that movie. But a lot of people don't like it. Angels and Demons. There you go. That was a terrible movie. But Anas Siari likes it. More power to you. So that's the part. You know, I, 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 I like certain types of music. I like certain types of genre. You don't have to like it. Not everybody has to like the way you show off and the way you live. You know, they just don't. Not everybody likes the way you do certain things. So what do you do about that? You just got to make sure you wired the way you are. But most of the time, you can increase your chances of other people liking you based on you being authentic. Listen, you know why Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, does so well? You know why The Rock does so well? Let me tell you why The Rock does so well. Because The Rock acts exactly like who he is. And everybody loves him. You just can't help but like this guy. Everybody loves him. It's that simple. It, it, there, I don't know a single person that doesn't like Rock. By the way, I know girls who love him. I know guys who love him. I know kids who love him. I know guys who are in high school love him. I know, you know, 28-year-olds who love him. I know guys my age who love him. I know 75-year-olds that love him. Who doesn't love Rock? But you love him because he's authentic, because he's himself. That's why. And by the way, Trump is Trump. That's why he does well. I know. You'll see it probably one every 400 posts. You'll see uh, 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 the car being in there, right? Now, listen, I'm trying to go live here, but on Instagram, for whatever reason, it's not having the comments come up. Let's see here. Do you see this? If not, I'm going to hang this up and come back up on Insta so I can see your questions. If anybody sees that, yeah, your comments have been stopped on uh, Insta. I'll turn it off and come back on. Hang on, let me do this. I'm going to end 